of IPOP commander may be the end of agitation for Biafra. Gaba Shio says, not only the end of Biafra, it is going to mark the beginning and it is going to bring the actualization of Biafra into reality. You watch and see. You have been hope you have been seeing and you have been taking note of the moves, all the moves of the IPOP members and the messages. You are taking note of them. See, let me tell you something. There is something that Nigerian government has failed to understand when it comes to issues concerning IPOP or Biafras. When Biafras tells you that you have made a mistake in taking this move, my dear, you have to be very careful. You people murdered someone without proper information concerning who that person is or what the person is and you went on to murder him. So what if after investigation and after investigation and they discover that of a truth the young man is not a member of IPOP. Now what, not, what is not going to happen? What is not going to be the punishment of those who killed him? Everyone is saying it. Activists are saying it. Legal practitioners are saying it. Just today, Ferry Fanica already said it that Nigerian has done a great mistake. And I know where I know the angle Femi Fanica is coming from. He is coming from the angle of war. Why is it that it is it is always the Nigerian government that are stepping that are seen stepping on the toes of the Biafrans? Why? They are, this, they are the ones that stepped on their, on their toes in Olo. They are the ones that stepped on their toes in Enugu. They are the ones that, 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 that stepped on their toes in Lagos. Why? See, just for the record, Biafran is as old as this country, Nigeria. But a lot of persons still don't know. A lot of them still doesn't know. You see that? Let's look into the content, my viewers, and know what we are talking about. The killing of Ikonso, the top commander of the Eastern Security Network, may end the actualization and the possibility of Biafra. This is simply because the death of the man whose Many saw as invisible in the front line of the Eastern Security Network and the struggle for the actualization of Biafra came earlier than expected. The Eastern Security Network, which was set up by the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP and headed by the late Ikonso, was expected to achieve more than it had achieved. The death of Ikonso, which came Earlier, yesterday, as announced by the Nigerian government, is news and has gone viral to the extent of taking weight in the international publication. Since the Eastern Security Network was established and, and had its headquarters in Imo State, South Eastern state especially, Imo had recorded several attacks on the facilities of security in the state, which were linked to the group. The focus on Nigerian Federal is now on the South Eastern state to restore peace and order. Both the state governments and federal governments are also paying more attention to IPOP and its security outfits. Eastern Security Network 
this will make it difficult for anybody to take over the position of lead econsul. In many of the states, IPOP and its activities have been proscribed, which may further end the agitation for Biafra. Another reason why the struggle for Biafra by the Eastern Security Network and IPOP may end with the killing of Ikonsu Gabasheu said is the fact that the leaders are not in support of such action because of the experience of the last civil war and had pledged their allegiance to Nigeria. The truth is that war has its devastation. Nobody is safe during war and we must not return to the worst days of civil war in the country. One Nigerian is possible as it makes us stronger and peaceful. We should be able to work out our differences and build a peaceful and harmonious Nigeria. Thank you for listening to this news. Let me tell you something, my viewers. See, our Southeast governors are not afraid of uh, they, are, they are not ref uh, refusing the Eastern Security Network because of the war. They are refusing Eastern Security Network because of their own selfish interests. They are they have even agenda which they don't want the Eastern Security Network to expose. They have some cockroach in their cupboard, some hidden secrets, which they believe that. So far, the Eastern Security Network is concerned. I bet you they will surely fish out that secret out. So they are afraid of all of that. All of that is what they are afraid of. So they don't want any of those secrets to be leaked. So that is why they are saying no. No, no to Eastern Security Network. You see? But they are saying their own because the people are already saying yes. And to portray the point made by Gabashu, I tell you that there is nothing that is going to touch the post for Biafran freedom because the actualization is already close at hand. So let me hear from you and know what you equally have to say about all of this. If you are new on this channel, do not forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.